Hey there, today I want to share with you three things that microdosing psilocybin mushrooms or uh, magic mushrooms have, have taught me. I've been microdosing for about seven, a little over seven months now, actually. And I feel like I'm far enough into this to really say that this isn't just like a one-time thing. It was, it's not a one-off. Um, this seven months of um, experience with this really has um, worked for me, not only worked for me, but shown me a, a lot of things that can change in my body and in my, in my life through microdosing psilocybin mushrooms, also called magic mushrooms, um, psychedelic mushrooms, whatever you want to call it, it's okay. Um, now, I've got three things I want to share with you, but they're above and beyond the um, incredible change I feel as far as being calm every single day. See, one of the most, one of the biggest reasons I ever started with microdosing magic mushrooms is I was experiencing quite a bit of anxiety, experiencing quite a bit of anxiety and some depression and some other like weird things going on in my life. And I can safely say that seven months in, actually, it was almost almost immediately, it was very soon, but seven months later, my um, anxiety level, let's say if this was, if there's a, like a, you had like a little meter, this is zero and this is 100, my anxiety level is basically, basically zero. And same with my depression. It's like, it's like the magic mushrooms have pretty much taken everything away and, and given me this like life where I feel calm and just confident about the way things are going. It's, it's really amazing. Now I will share this with you. Magic mushrooms are not like a pill that you just take and all of a sudden everything's better. No, you've got to work with it. You've got to put the work in. Um, I wrote when it, before I started with my, I wrote in my diary here, a bunch of things that I wanted to see change in my life. And I read it very often and I meditate to it and I think about it and I, I put the work in. So if you're not willing to put the work in and you just think like eating some mushrooms is going to make everything better. Now, I would probably wait until you feel like you've got the, um, time, the energy, and the passion to put put the work into it. It's not difficult, but again, I, I don't want to see you just microdose and then and walk away and, and you think everything's going to just be fine. It's just, it's, it's not exactly like that. Um, so in addition to feeling a sense of calmness and um, no anxiety and, and no depression, in addition to that, by the way, my blood pressure went like way down to like, like normal, normal, normal. It's just, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I know so many people, including me, I was on blood pressure medication and so many people are struggling with high blood pressure and all kinds of things. And I, I wish they knew that it is possible to take care of some of these issues maybe in a more non-conventional or unconventional way other than just the regular pharmaceuticals. Now, I'm not dissing the regular pharmaceuticals. I think there's a, a place for them. I do believe they're good, um, but they're not necessarily the best way to go. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So the three things that I've really noticed a change in my life um, since I've been microdosing uh, mushrooms is I, I feel like I am kinder to other people, kinder to other people, kinder to every living thing on the planet, even like to a tree. <laughs> that might sound kind of weird, but I appreciate nature. I appreciate people. And I'm, I just have a sense of, um, and a desire to be as, as kind as I possibly can to others that spend time on the planet with me. It's not just me. It's not a selfish. It's just, I want to be kind to other people. And, and I think I've always been a fairly kind person. Um, but I think I've even gotten better with the use of the um, uh, psilocybin mushrooms. So that's number one. Number two is um, I don't let like the little things bother me anymore. And, and they used to really bother me. Like, for example, here's just an example that was ridiculous, but it, it was me. And um, I think this has definitely improved quite a bit. Um, somebody next to me at the table at a table in a restaurant speaking loudly and, and just being like a nuisance and... and I, I, I don't let things like that bother me anymore because they're always going to take place. I can't stop it. Um, if I let everything like that bother me, then I'd go through life being just a pissed off old person. And I, I don't want to do that. I want to be, I want to understand like everybody's not like me. I'm not like everybody else. Let it be. Life is not that serious. Don't take, don't take things so seriously. It's just, um, that's, um, that's what I've learned. That's that's number two. Now number three is 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 major, and I'm a little bit uh, 
new at, at this one, although it's something I've been working on my entire life, so it's not like I'm new, I, I understand this, but as a human being, we get carried away. And, and, and so the th third thing I'm referring to is eating better. Um, I've always been what I, and my friends all think I'm a great healthy eater, but there are definitely times that I, I eat junk and I, you know, I'll eat a gluten-free pizza or I'll uh, eat, you know, some candy or, or uh, just junk. Um, I made it a point along with the mushrooms, we've made an agreement together. And when I say that, it sounds kind of weird, but the mushrooms speak to you. They, they really, they speak to you. You have to, you have to be ready to hear them, but they speak to you in a certain way that you know exactly what they're trying to help you with. Uh, and they're trying to help you with what you want help with. Um, so I made it a point a short time ago to, I made an agreement with myself and with the mushrooms that I'm, from now on, I'm only going to eat whole foods, only whole foods, no more, uh, simple carbs, sugars, breads, junk, crackers, cakes. Uh, no, no, no. I'm eating only whole foods. Um, I'd like to lose a little bit of weight. It's not that I'm really heavy. I'm not, I've never been like a heavy person, but I, but I definitely have some, some weight to lose and I'm going to see how that goes. But, um, already I feel better knowing that, um, and doing this for a short time already. I, I just feel better knowing that I'm willing to spend the money. I'm willing to put the time into it to eat the healthiest foods on the planet, which are pretty much whole foods, something that grows from the ground, something that roams the earth without taking it and, um, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for, the, it's, it's an easy word, uh, processing it. That's what I'm, <laughs> see? Maybe the mushrooms do something to my brain. No, they actually reset the neurons and it's like rebooting, rebooting my system, rebooting my body, rebooting my brain. I've had nothing but success with these. Now, I will tell you this, I've, I, um, a lot of times people ask me, well, what pattern do you follow? How many, how many days in a row do you, do you do the microdosing? And I've gotten to the point where I, I do it kind of um, when it feels right to me. Um, I do know enough and I've experienced enough that um, I do need to take days off in between. Uh, but I might do two or three days in a row, then take several days off because you can't do it every day. It, it just won't work. It, um, you develop a tolerance uh, to the psilocybin and... Um, it loses its effect, and I've tried that. I've, I, I tried like for a week or two doing it every day, and as good as I thought it was, I felt that after a period of time, I just don't feel, I started feeling a little more anxious because they weren't really working. So I, I scaled back um, a couple times, two, three, maybe at the most four, but I'd say two or three times a week, I'll, I'll do a microdose, and that's, that's plenty because the off days are awesome. I did not microdose today, and I still feel calm and peaceful and serene because they, they work and work and work. Um, so that's what I want to share with you today. I, I, as time goes on and I, as I get more time under my belt with these um, beautiful little, beautiful little uh, fungi, fungi or fungi, fungi, um, I will share more. Um, as I say, I'm relatively new, but seven months in is, is more than most, I think. So uh, I'm, I'm, uh, experience enough to be able to share this too with you. So if you like what you see, um, give me a follow. I, I didn't start this channel off years ago with um, microdosing mushrooms or anything like that. I, st I started off mainly just putting some ski videos up because I, I like to ski and I wanted to share a lot of my cool ski videos. But now I think what I'm going to focus on more is, is um, definitely um, helping you, helping others with um, microdosing and maybe even at some point um, more higher doses and macro dosing. The, the highest dose I've done to this day is is one gram and one gram is not a microdose. It's larger than a microdose. A microdose is anywhere between like, um, I guess, 25 milligrams and um, and um, maybe 0.4 grams. So um, 400 milligrams. Um, so one gram is 1000 milligrams. But it's it's not every day that I do that. It's it's occasionally if I feel like I need like a real good uh, a real good reboot. I'll do, I'll do a gram like I did this past Saturday. And it, I really felt fantastic after that. I just felt really, really good. Like, and like, I didn't need anything, uh, for several days after that, just, just took days off after that and felt really, really, really good. Again, I want to make it clear. Also, a microdose is a sub perceptual dose. I don't microdose and start tripping out or anything like that. No, it's a sub perceptual dose, sub perceptual dose. You can go about your work day. You can go about doing anything because it's, it's, if you're taking, if you're taking a, enough, that's going to give you a, send you on a trip, then that's not a microdose. And I don't recommend 
doing that when you have other responsibilities. Hope this all helps. Um, follow me again. Follow me and, uh, and turn on your notifications and give me a like if you like this video. And um, I'll do more for you. I'll do more, so stay in touch. I'm Dave.